oil tank on one side of the property and a expired hot water tank on the other side of the property. There goes all the little critters. I hate to kill you, Mr. Spider, but you make too many webs, so use this quick. The guy came yesterday to buy a step bumper that I had for sale. I had it on Craigslist last year. I had one guy come and tickle it. He didn't want it. I bought a couple of doors, though. A couple of mid-90s Chevy doors in pretty good shape. I sold the bed right away, the doors, to this guy last year. And then I put the front and back bumper on, and I got one guy offered me 40 bucks. He came in and gave me 50 for a factory black step bumper that was in good shape on the exterior. A little rusty in the back, but had no holes, no dents, it wasn't twisted. So I got 50 bucks for that. And now I'll get some scrap metal for this hot water tank. Not much. Price of scrap is down. 115 a ton. That means $11.50 for 200 pounds and 625 for 100 pounds. So I'm taking this old storage tank out of here that worked off of coil in the boiler. You'd have to run the oil boiler all summer long. My Bosch is working. It's not tripped. can't believe it. Got a filter in line, collecting all the chunks of sediment. I got my little wonder I'm going to put on the line to magnetically break up the scale. And I've got this new hot water tank. It's a 50 gallon. I wanted a 66, but you have to order it. It takes two weeks to come in, so we'll put this here temporarily. I'll put some PEX fittings up here, PEX adapters, so that PEX adapter. There. I'll put some of these on, and I'll hook up this water tank if that one goes kaput. We'll just turn a couple of valves on, and uh, We'll have electric hot water. I've got to run a cable. My cable stringer. I've got some 10-3. I need 10-2, but I got this UF exterior grade. Hard to strip. I got these plugged. One there. And one there. It used to take water off of here, but those days are, are gone. I put a new bleeder up there that I had from one of the fittings and this tank, this expansion tank, something pretty crudy, cruddy, crudy, cruddy. This cover can go back on. Oops, ground wire. And I've had my Harley Fat Boy on eBay a few times and nothing, no action. A couple people have tickled it, but Nobody really serious. So finally a guy from the Netherlands called me. And we made a deal on the phone, a lot less than I thought it was worth, but it sells for what it's worth. And my friend, Dutch Urban Miner from The Hague, said the local Harley shop is closed, out of business, shut down, couldn't pay his rent, mortgage, whatever it was. So the market in The market in Europe is weak. Here in America, supposedly it's better with gas going down below three dollars a gallon. We're still paying three sixty-five. It's been dropping, but of course, it doesn't drop fast enough. I don't know why it always is cheaper somewhere else. Why is everything more expensive where you live, where one lives? Even diesel's down to three ninety. I filled up the other day for three ninety-three. Next thing you know, it's three ninety. So we were on our trip in May, was it? Or Tacoma with the Ford Flex with diesel less expensive than gas? Could that be? Alrighty, I gotta move this tank into position. I'll sweep up the floor, take that burner out of the way, and position it and tax it in place. Crank her up! 